Okay, guys, in this part of the lesson, we're still focusing on transformations of exponential functions. We're going to graph our transform parent function without a function table and without a graphing calculator, such as Desmos. But one thing you need to keep in mind, remember when we were talking about, let's get a pen, when we we're talking about a decay, so if we have f of x, and we're just going to keep it simple, if we have 2 to the x, when your b value is more than 1, you have a growth. So when b is more than 1, we have an exponential growth. Our values are increasing. If we have f of x and our b value is between 0 and 1, so in our b value, we have a decay. Now, this only applies to when our a is not negative. If a is negative, then we're just not going to describe it as a growth or a decay. Growth and decay really just refers to the end behavior. So we're not going to have, if we have a function that's being reflected vertically, we're not going to describe it as a growth or decay. Let's choose green here. So we're going to, here is our parent function. This is y equals 2 to the x. We see that we have a couple of transformations. So I am going to take three points that I see from my parent function, and I'm going to transform each of these points. So first of all, it says x minus 3. So remember, this is going to be a shift to the right. Okay, so we're going to shift 3 to the right, and then we're going to shift 4 up. So I'm going to take my y-intercept, I'm going to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, and up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to take another point, and I'm going to go right, 1, 2, 3, and shift up 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then this last point, shift and right, 1, 2, 3, and up, 1, 2, 3, 4. My asymptote is shifted up as well, 4 units. And so our graph looks like this. So our initial value was 1. My B factor is 2. This is a growth because my B value is more than 1. My domain is all real numbers. X can be any value. My range, the least my range can be, is up to the 4, but not included. And then it can be from, from 4 and toward positive infinity. The y-intercept is 0, comma. You can see that it, let's, let's plug in 0. So we have, looking in 0 here. So this gives us 2 to the negative third plus 4. 2 to the negative third is 1 over 8 plus 4. So it's going to be 0, comma, 4 and 1 eighth. So kind of about where we have it right there. Our asymptote is y equals 4. Interval of increase. Remember, just like with linear functions, exponential is either always going to increase or decrease. So and then involve decrease, it does not. Our in behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches the asymptote of 4. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches infinity. And if we were asked to give it a rock, they would give you an interval. We're going to skip that for now. Okay, let's take, here we have our parent function, y equals 2 to the x, and we're going to transform without a table of values and without a calculator. 
So we are going to shift three to the left, and then we're going to shift four down. So the H value, the value that's added or subtracted from X, tells us to go left or right. If it's adding, we go left. The k value, the value that's added or subtracted from your exponential term, tells us to shift up or down, and you shift as you see it. So this is a minus 4. We're going down 4. So here's my y-intercept. It is shifting to the left, 1, 2, 3, and down 1, 2, 3, 4. My ordered pair 1, 2 is going to go left 3, 1, 2, 3, and down 1, 2, 3, 4. And a third point, we're going left, one, two, three, and down, one, two, three, four. Our asymptote of y equals zero is also going to shift to whatever your k value is, minus four. And our graph looks something like this. Before I finish, I'm going to go ahead and find out what the y-intercept is. So when we plug in 0, we get 2 to the 3rd minus 4. 2 to the 3rd is 8 minus 4. So our y-intercept is 0, comma 4. So go ahead and put that on there. And here is our transform graph. The initial value was 1, our multiplier is 2, that means it was a growth, the B value. The domain is all real numbers. My range depends on my asymptote. It can go down to negative 4, but is not included, so we use parentheses, and then it goes to positive infinity. We just figured our y-intercept. Our asymptote is the k value of minus 4. This graph is increasing always, so all real numbers for interval of increase, therefore it does not decrease. As x approaches negative infinity, as my x values decrease, my f of x values go toward negative 4, but does not touch it, the asymptote. As x increases, f of x increases. We're not going to do a rock for right now. Now let's take a look when we have a few things we have. We're going to go, we're shifting left three. We're shifting up four. And we are going to have a vertical reflection. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and pencil in my new asymptote. We will be reflecting across the asymptote. So this is y equals 4. So let's shift. Let's, I am going to pick out a few nice ordered pairs. And now... Let's shift left, then up, and then reflect. So I am going to shift my y-intercept, 1, 2, 3, and then up, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then it's going to be reflected. And so the, the negative tells me to reflect. So we are going to reflect across our asymptote. So we are here, and we're going to reflect over the asymptote. So we were up one. So to reflect, we're going to be down one. So our y-intercept, again, let's go over that one more time. We shifted to left, one, two, three. And up one, two, three, four. Then the reflection is across our new asymptote. And a reflection, we're, we we're one unit above the asymptote. 
So to reflect, we're one unit below. Now let's take this ordered pair. We're going to go left, one, two, three, and up, one, two, three, four. We're going to reflect across our asymptote. We're two above, so to reflect, we're going to be two below. Then we have this ordered pair. We're going to go over one, two, three, and shift up one, two, three, four. This time we are four above our asymptote, so we're going to reflect across the asymptote and we're going to be four below. And let's go ahead and identify our y intercept. So let's plug in zero for x. So 2 to the third is 8, and 8 times negative is negative 8 plus 4, and we get out negative 4. So our y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 4. Now, here we go. And here is our transformed function. Our initial value is negative 1. Our factor value is 2. Because we had a negative a, we are not going to describe it as neither a growth nor a decay. The domain is going to be all real numbers. My range, so be careful with your range here because we have reflected the least value, our output is negative infinity. And then it can go up to our asymptote of 4 but is not included. Our asymptote is y equals 4. Interval of increase, our graph is decreasing as we see here. So there's no interval of increase. It does decrease all real numbers in behavior. As x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches the asymptote of 4. As x approaches positive infinity, because it's reflected, f of x approaches negative infinity. Okay, let's take a look at this one. This time we have a shift to the right. Three units. We have a shift down four units. And we do have a vertical reflection in which we will reflect across our new asymptote. And let's go ahead and pencil in our new asymptote. It's going from y equals 0 to y equals negative 4. So here we go. Let's shift this y-intercept. We're going to go to the right, 1, 2, 3, and shift down, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to reflect it because a is negative. It's 1 above the asymptote, so it's going to reflect and put it 1 below. We're going to shift to the right, 1, 2, 3, and down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to reflect across our asymptote, so it's 2 above now we reflect it and it's going to be two below. We're going to shift left, I mean, excuse me, right, one, two, three, and we're going to go down one, two, three, four. It is four above our asymptote, so we're going to reflect it and make it be four below one, two, three, four. I want to go ahead and find my y intercept. The y-intercept is always when x is 0. So 2 to the negative third is 1 over 8. 1 over 8 times negative is negative. 1 over 8 minus 4. That gives me negative 4 and 1 eighth. So our y-intercept is 0 comma, negative 4 and 1 eighth. So negative 4 and 1 eighth is about right there. So you can see it's getting closer and closer to that asymptote of negative 4, but never touches or crosses. Okay, our initial value is negative 1 
my B is 2. Because my A is negative, we're not going to have identify as growth or decay. Our domain is all real numbers. Our range, again, because it's been reflected, the least value that our output can be is negative infinity, and it can go up to the negative 4, but not included. Our asymptote is y equals negative 4. Our interval of increase, it does not increase at all, so null. Interval of decrease, negative infinity to positive infinity. In behavior, as x approaches negative infinity, f of x approaches our asymptote of negative 4. Again, it's all about the end of the graph. As x approaches positive infinity, f of x approaches negative infinity. Again, as our x values increase, our output values decrease.